As human beings we can be impatient, however, when we are impatient, it lands us into trouble, oftentimes with dire consequences. In this series, we will see the consequence of one man's decision, how it affected his bloodline for generations, even after he was no more. When we rush ahead without clear guidance from God, we often face unforeseen consequences as with the protagonist in this story. Such consequences are passed down to those who are not even aware of what was done, and it takes divine intervention to break free from such satanic links and chains. It is very important for us to trust God's timing, so that our blessings will not be delayed or denied. Now, let's get to the story. What do you mean you are calling to say bye? I don't understand. Where are you going Pam? I do not know, I feel so ashamed, I tried to win you to Christ, and I have behaved so disgracefully, I cannot go back to church, I cannot face pastor, or my mentor Sister Dawn, I spoke to Sister Dawn, but I am too ashamed to face them. There is something in me that caused me to always go back to my old ways, it is like, I cannot break free from my past, from sinning, no matter what I cannot break free. I was so sure that this time was it, but I have gone, and done even worse, than even before, I am so sorry Katharina, I am too ashamed. I am so sorry for being such a terrible example to you. For being such a hypocrite. I don't even want to face you. Bye Katharina. Upon saying that, Pamela hung up the phone and began to cry, she stood up from the bench where she was sitting, and she began to walk. She did not look and she walked out into an oncoming vehicle, next thing she knew, she felt a pain and then nothing. What does Pam mean by bye? What have I done? I was hoping to get Pam back to us going out and partying, but not like this, now she is saying bye, and that she is ashamed of herself. No, I have to call her back, I must convince her to come and see me. I have to do something. I have to get to her, before she does something crazy. Katharina called back Pamela several times, but she got no answer. She kept calling and calling but there was no answer, to her calls, meanwhile. Yes pastor, you called for me. Yes, can you leave the baptismal certificate on my desk when you are finished with them, for my signature? I have to run, I just got a call from the new Smith family, they were asking if I was available to come and visit. Sister Reem I have a brother that does not want to hear anything about Christ. Or the church, she said that he is there visiting now, and she asked if I could come, so I will be going, to see them. I will not come back to the church today, after I leave them, I will be heading home. Okay pastor, I will leave them on your desk. By the way, when we spoke about Sister Pamela, and after you went out and I was praying for her, I was just gripped with a strong desire to cry out for mercy for her. I could not stop praying for God's mercy to rewrite her life. Pastor the Holy Spirit knows why you were praying that way for her. Have you heard anything from her since she called you earlier? No pastor, I have not heard from her, though I tried to call her several times. Anyway, I will keep calling. Yes, and I will keep praying. Anyway, let me get going now. We have to believe that wherever she is, she is in God's hands. Please let me know if you hear anything from her. I will also have my wife to try and call her as well, and maybe you both can meet together and go by her home later. It is important that she knows that, we are not perfect, that is why the Lord tells us in his words that we all have sinned and fall short of his glory. Please speak with her in loving kindness, so that she does not feel condemned. You know I sense in the spirit, that she is feeling ashamed, because of her actions, because of what she did. The sense of shame is one of the strongest in our nature. But it is important for her to know that shame is the companion of fear. If fear is overcome, then shame flees away. Oh pastor, thank you for telling me these beautiful words that I will tell her. I will finish up quickly and meet with your wife, and we will go and see her. Wonderful! Let me get going. Two weeks later. Pammy where are you? What has happened to you? I have reported you missing, gave your photo to the police, still. No news from them. I have been to several hospital with your photo, but no one that fits your description have been admitted. I have gone to see your landlady several times, and she have not seen you either. I must go back and see her today. Maybe Pam does not want to see me, maybe she has come home. At first your phone was ringing but now it is just dead, it does not ring at all. 
Let me go back. Maybe the landlady heard something. Or maybe she went home. By now, she should stop feeling ashamed. Half an hour later. I don't understand. What do you mean that she still has not been home? It's been two weeks, now. As you know I live on the upper floor, and she rent the lower floor from me. She has not been home. I tried calling her, but I got no answer. With the exception of you, and the church people that has come around looking for her, it seem as if she has disappeared into thin air. No one has heard from her, or seem to know of her whereabouts. This is really really bad, very very bad. Oh God, what would I do? What did you just say? What do you mean by, what did you do? It's nothing, you know we are like sisters, and I cannot bear not knowing where she is, or what has happened to her. I feel like if I had listened to her, and go to church with her, then none of this would have happened. I don't think so, I do not think that you should blame yourself, let's just hope and pray that she will turn up soon. She has always paid her rent on time, and we've even paid a few times in advance. But in two weeks her rent will be due, I can only hope that wherever she is, that she is okay, and that she will be coming home soon. Meanwhile... How is she Bob? Is there any change? No she is still in a coma, the most amazing thing is that there are no broken bones, there is no swelling, and she seemed to be in peace almost like she is just in a deep sleep. I want to thank you for everything Bob, I fear what they would think if I had brought her to any of the public hospital. I am so glad for our friendship, and that you are able to give her the best care privately. I really care about her Bob. You have spared no expense, and you have insisted that she is cared for around the clock. Why do you care so much about this woman? She had no identification on her, but it appeared to me that you seemed to have a connection with her, and I do not believe that it had anything to do with the fact that your car hit her and caused her to be in this position, the care that you have for her, is a tenderness, almost like one would have for someone they are in a relationship with. Is there something you are keeping from me Rod? We go way back, we know each other since we were children, you can talk to me. Okay Bob, let's sit down, I will tell you everything. Rod told Dr. Bob everything that took place between him and Pamela. I cannot believe what you are telling me, so she chased you out of that hotel room. And the next time you saw her was when she you picked her in your arms after you hit her with your car. Yes, have told you the whole story. Wow, she had no idea on her, and so I went back to the motel to speak with that angelic girl, but she does not know anything much about her. She just say that she is one of the nicest human beings she ever met, and that she had been very kind to her. That is the extent of what she knew about her. That night when I met her in Joe's bar she was drinking. And then she was the one who invited me, back to that motel. Beyond that, I do not know anything else about her, or know anyone that knows her, except for that girl at the motel. Maybe if you had brought her to a public hospital, someone would come looking for her. Maybe, but thank God for you, for you being my friend, my own personal doctor, with this wonderful private hospital, where she is getting the best care 24-7. Besides, what would it look like, just imagine the scandal, Eligible bachelor Rob Stanford, is seen around mystery woman in hospital. That night, I just went to that bar, I was feeling especially sad that day, missing my parents, especially my father. As I drove past that bar I felt to stop, but by the time I went in there, and had one drink, I just wanted to leave, I did not have my driver, I gave him the day off, and I drove myself, but then this beautiful woman approached me, and I was drawn to her. Well the rest you know about what happened the next morning, and then what happened when she came out of nowhere in front of my car. I just remembered something. What's that? She said that she was a Christian. A Christian drinking in a bar and picking up someone. That is very strange. I said the very same thing to her, but she seemed to have been shocked the next day, asking me who I was, how she got there, she genuinely seemed very confused, but like I said, she chased me away and I was not able to get any information from her or about her. How far from home were you? I mean, where was this bar? About an hour. Why? Maybe you could inquire about the churches in that area, and see if you could meet with her pastor. For sure he would know about her family. However, in my professional opinion, you may have to wait until she come out of the coma. You do not know why she was wandering aimlessly in the street, with no identification, 
I think that it would be best to wait until she come out of the coma, and then inquire about her. I think that is a good idea. In the meantime, I will go back to the motel, maybe something came back to that Angela girl memory. Okay, I will keep you posted on her progress. Thanks for everything Bob. I must be going, I have a conference call in about an hour, I will come back later to check on her, also if there are any new developments, please call me. Thanks my friend for everything, I will be seeing you soon. Two weeks later. It is one full month now, and I have not heard anything from Pamela. Now her phone is completely dead, it does not even ring anymore, her landlady still have not heard anything from her, it is like she disappeared into thin air. I cannot bear it anymore, I must go and see her pastor, and see if they know anything about her, and I must confess. I must tell him what I did. Meanwhile. Hello Mr. Rod, it is wonderful to see you again sir. I was not expecting you. I know last time I was here, I was asking you some questions about Pamela, and you did not have any answers for me. I was just wondering, did she have any friends that she used to come around here with? Yes, I do not know why I did not think about her before, there was a girl, they moved like sisters, they were always coming here together. What was her name again? Katharina, her name was Katharina. Wonderful, by any chance do you have any contacts for her? I'm afraid not, but if she ever come by, I will get her contact, and I will call you right away and let you know. Great, thank you so much Angela. Meanwhile at the church. Pastor, there is a young lady here to see you, she wants to speak to you about Sister Pamela. Sister Pamela, send her in, we have not heard from her going almost a month now. It is like she has disappeared, this is good news, send her in. Sister Don went to get the young woman, and the moment she got in and told Pastor her name, she began to confess telling Pastor Grant what she did to Pamela, all that transpired the day, about a month ago. Pastor, I have not been able to sleep, I cannot function, I feel so guilty, so responsible. I reported her missing, been to the hospital, been to so many place but no one know of her whereabouts. I am not here to condemn you, but the way you lured her to your birthday, and spiked her drink, that was really terrible. You could be charged for something like that. The sad thing is that, when you fought or tries to hinder the people of God, it is God that you are trying to fight against. I am not sure if you are familiar with the Bible, but there is a story of Saul who later converted and become the Apostle Paul who was fighting against the Christians, and Jesus let him know that it was he Jesus that he was fighting against. I'm finished. I am finished. I did not know that I was fighting against God. No wonder, I feel tormented and guilty and unable to sleep. I could not take it anymore. I had to come and tell you everything. Now, I went against God and I cannot be forgiven. My dear, there are only two things that will cause us not to be forgiven. The main is if we blaspheme against the Holy Spirit, and if we do not forgive others, then neither can God forgive us. Throughout the words of God, He shows us that we can all obtain forgiveness, when we confess our sins and repent. The Word of God said it like this, in 1 John 1, 9, But if we confess our sins to God, God will forgive us our sins and cleanse us of all unrighteousness. That is He will purify us from all our wrongdoings. In John 3, 16, all we are asked is to believe, and once we believe, repent and confess our sins, not only are we forgiven but we obtain the beautiful promise of eternal life. While what you did to Sister Pamela was very very bad, it is not unforgivable, you will be forgiven, all it takes is for you to believe in what Jesus did for you, for us all. And repent, and receive his forgiveness for your sins. Really Pastor, but both Pam and I we were told at the convent that after a time we will not be forgiven. My dear the only records given in scriptures, by which we will not obtain forgiveness is what I said before, if we do not forgive others and if we blaspheme against the Holy Spirit. Aside from those two, you can obtain forgiven for all your sins. This is wonderful to hear Pastor Grant, that is why, I thought why bother, I cannot be forgiven anyway, because of all that I have done. I did not know that there could still be forgiveness for me. Oh yes there's forgiveness for you Katharina. 
That is why we learned in the Bible, the Word of God, that heaven and earth may pass away, but His Word shall never pass away. God is kind even to the unthankful and evil. His kindness is extended to the thief that was beside Him on the cross, that He took Him to paradise with Him. The kindness of God is fueled by His great mercies that He gave brand new each day. We just have to believe. What you were told is not scriptural, you can be forgiven. The Word of God said in Hosea 4, 6, My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. You see when we do not have the knowledge about God, or the things of God then we can be destroyed, through and by the cunning plan of the enemy. No one can fall so far where the hands of God cannot reach them. His loving arms of love extend precious mercies to pick us up from where we have fallen, and give us His wonderful grace of forgiveness, welcoming us back into His arms of love. The Bible is filled with the truth of God, a circumflex, s love. But many wander some in ignorance, some from lack of knowledge, and some because of the blindness of the enemy or even their sins, they wonder how the Lord could ever love them, or even forgive them as in your case. Today, Katharina, I would like you to grasp this truth, that, God loved us all, all humanity, when we were lost, undone, a stranger to him. And he proved his love for us by sacrificing his own son on our behalf. Uh, while we were all yet sinners, Christ died for us. Do you want to accept that love today, Katharina? Oh pastor, I came here, expecting to be condemned by you, but instead you gave me understanding and told me about the love of God for me. Of course I would love to accept him truly in my heart today. Pastor Grant led Katharina, to the Lord, which she accepted with tears of great joy. Pastor Grant welcomed her to the family of God, and told her that Sister Dawn will give her some booklet, and contact her daily for prayer, and strength, now that she has given her life to the Lord. Afterwards, Katharina, prayed together with Pastor Grant for Pamela, that the Lord would protect her and that she will return safely. Katharina then stood up to leave, and then she said to Pastor Grant, I want to thank you for everything. No wonder Pamela could say to me that she found something that she was always looking for, I did not understand at the time, but now I do, I feel so light, like a big weight was lifted off of me. I believe that she will come back, I believe that she will return safely. I will then confess everything to her, and I will pray that she will find it in her heart to forgive me for what I did to her. As Katharina said that, a memory came back to her. Pastor, I do not know why I did not think of it before, but there is a motel that we always frequent, where we used to hang out all the time, the people know us very well. I must go there when I left here, to see if it is possible that Pam could be there. I will also pray that even if she is not there, someone will know of her whereabouts. Please let me know what you find out, Sister Dawn will give you my number. Thanks again for everything Pastor, I will see Sister Dawn now. And once I go to the motel, I will call you the moment I found out anything. The Lord go with you dear child. One hour later. Katharina, is that you? You look so different. What happened to you? It's nothing bad, I have not been able to sleep for a couple of weeks. Anyway, I will be fine, don't mind me. I have been trying to locate Pamela, for over a month now, I know that she came here around that time. But since then, I have not been able to reach her, and even her landlady said that she has not been at her place. I am so sorry to hear that, but if you like, you could leave me your contact, and I would call you if she ever show up here. That would be lovely, thank you so much. Katharina gave her contact, and then she left. Moments later. I cannot believe what you are saying to me, that Katharina just came in today. Wow! So this is her number. Thanks so much Angela, I will give her a call first thing tomorrow, I have a meeting to get to that I will be in quite late. That is why I plan to call tomorrow. I will let her know that I got the number from you, that she is inquiring about Pamela. Anyway, I have to go now. Thanks again Angela. No problem Mr. Rod. Bye. Meanwhile at Pastor Grant's home. My dear Timothy, how many of God's children are walking around believing that they have done so much, that they cannot be forgiven? That is how many are destroyed my dear wife, because they lack the knowledge. It is in the time of their mistakes, that's when they need to be told that God himself will welcome them back like the prodigal son. 
God is faithful to forgive their sins and cleanse them of all unrighteousness. We serve a God who does not lie. It is impossible for God to lie. He cannot change his mind, or breaks his promise. Although we have not heard from Sister Pamela for a month now, I still feel that she is still in the land of the living, and in a matter of time we will hear from her. My dear wife, I want you to pray me through as I go into this seven days of prayers and fasting, seeking the one who reveals all things. It is very strange that Sister Pamela seemed to have disappeared after she fell back, but I have no feeling that she is not in the land of the living. Let us pray earnestly, seeking God. I know that we have not heard from her, neither do we know what is happening with her, but we can petition the one who is able to reveal all things about her. That night the Lord visited Pastor Grant, and he saw a man in a vision praying at the top of a mountain, he saw like fire was around him, though he was not being burned, and then he heard the voice of God saying this was my servant Aaron, Pastor Aaron, come with me, let me show you the life he lead before he was tempted to rush ahead of my timing, and was caught in the enemy's chains, all because he did not acknowledge me and try to make things happen on his own. Take a look. Bye and thank you for watching, it is our prayer that this series will be a blessing to you. Be sure to subscribe, like and share. See you soon in part 3. Have a wonderful day.